Hello everyone. So I am starting a new series on my channel. So we will be uh, going through the basics of Kotlin and uh, why it is essential to learn Kotlin in 2020. Google has declared Kotlin as the first priority for Android. And apart from that, it is a better improvement over Java for Android. So I think Kotlin uh, will be there for a long time in the near future. And not only Android, it has uh, many different applications in uh, server side and things like that. So it's not just related to uh, Android. So it is really a good investment to learn Kotlin. Many people on the internet will say that go and learn Java and then Kotlin. That's not true. Actually, the fact is Java being so much verbose will make you realize how Kotlin is much better. So that is the reason people are saying that go learn Java first and then come to Kotlin. But that's not the case. Even if you are a beginner and you don't have any programming experience, you can still start with Kotlin. So in this video, we will be writing a basic function and uh, we will be printing a basic value. So which will guide you through some of the Kotlin syntax. And uh, first of all, we will write a function. Uh, we have to write a main function since everything runs inside a main function. Apart from that, you can obviously write functions, but um, writing a main function is really difficult task. And this is how you do it. So you write func main brackets and you're done. So this is the main function. And if uh, we want to declare a variable, so we write var x and let's just assign a value five to it. Now, if you are coming from Python, you are maybe used to writing x equals to five because we don't use a keyword called var in this case. However, there is much more in declaring variables in Kotlin, which will be covered in a different video. So um, I have a variable var x where var is a keyword. So make sure to see that the things in orange, which you are seeing on this ID are uh, basically keywords. So uh, if you are uh, like trying to create a variable which has the name similar to a keyword, then you might fall in an error and you need to avoid that. So uh, continuing with the program, if I want to print this value, uh, let's do it in the uh, Java style, but uh, it is much more different in this case. So in Java, we used to write system.out.println and inside the brackets, we write all other things which we want. But here again, it is very difficult. So we write println and let's say we write this and say plus and x so we can run this program so let's say we are running this file and you can see that we have the value 5 here using an ide is much more beneficial for uh, debugging your code and things which um, your ide can do much better compared to the humans that will really help you in your uh, process of learning the language since kotlin is a relatively new language which has slightly different syntax from any traditional language here i have written x equals to 5 now if i hover over the letter x you can see it is of type int which also brings us to another point which I have wanted to add in this video is that if there is a particular variable, then Kotlin is smart enough to uh, detect its uh, data type. But however, if you want to declare any variable and you want to declare it of a particular type, then in that case, what you can do is write uh, say var x colon of type int and then you can assign a value 5. Let's remove this line of code. So you can see that this will work uh, in the same way. But um, one more thing which you can identify in this line of code is that you can see that the word int is written in uh, gray color and anything in gray color means that it is either unnecessary or it is not used, which we will be uh, discovering in the future videos. So since in this case, uh, writing x equals to five will tell that x is of a particular type which is integer in our case so we don't necessarily need to write int exclusively so we can simply remove this part of code and write x equals to 5 which will tell us that x is of type int 
So if you hover over the letter X, then you can see that X is of type int. Another thing which you can do is that uh, since you can see that we used a Java style um, concatenation to add our variable X in this particular string. If you hover over this particular line, you can see that there is a um, Ziggly line and it says that convert concatenation to a template. So uh, one more thing which you can do is hover over that particular line, press alt enter and you can see that there's an option called convert concatenation to a template. Let's do that. So what we can see that um, it, it has converted the sentence into a form where we can directly use the value of our variable but with the help of a dollar symbol. And it is quite obvious because if I remove this dollar symbol and I try to print what is written over here, it will simply print x and not the value 5. And that is quite obvious. So in that case, if you want to print the value 5 directly inside of our uh, sentence or inside of our string, you can use the dollar symbol and that's it. So that will be the case. And if you run the program right now, then you can see that it will print the value 5. So that's it for the introduction of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for further videos. Till then, keep on learning and keep on programming.